Good morning. After yet another week of grueling, demanding cab driving, I'm home <clears throat> and I've had something to eat and I'm just about to start relaxing. Now there is a way I like to relax and it's with this little treasure here. I heard of it, oh, maybe a year and a half ago, the first time when I was watching whiskey uh, vlogs and reviews on YouTube. And um, if you can see it here, it's a strange looking name. Um, and unless someone tells you how to pronounce it, you probably get it wrong. I mean, the first time I saw it, it was Bana Habhain. But it's not Bana Habhain, it's Bona Haven. Now, this Bona Haven is uh, one of the few single malts from the island of Isla. Most Isla malts are known for their peaty, smoky, powerful peat and smoke and uh, in most cases not much else. Um, this one is from the north of the island where they strangely enough do not peat the whiskey so it's not very smoky in fact there's only a very subtle hint of smoke and that comes from I believe the water that was running over the peat bogs to get to the distillery. Anyways, um, I wanted to try it for a long time until uh, last June, well it's almost a year ago now since I tried it for the first time, we went to a wedding in um, Calgary and uh, I was able to find some at a premium liquor outlet and since then I, I didn't know you could get it here in fact I never saw it here until I brought one back from Calgary and then we were mentioning it to our lo one of the local retailers hey how come you guys don't have Bonahaven you know and, and really you know there's a market for that okay well we'll order some in <laughs> and this is one of those bottles that they ordered in I don't know if they have any left but uh, the stuff disappears off the shelf fast enough because it's uh, it's rare. I see how easy that was to open. That just came right off. And it's going to have a healthy little pop, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, that was a high one. And oh, I'm going to have it. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is a really fine drum. There's no artificial coloring. There's no chill filtering. And it is bottled at 46.3%. It is 12 year old single malt. It is a light amber color, or more medium amber color. It's got no sherry cask. I don't think it has sherry cask. If it has sherry cask, it's very little. Mm, there's a there's a bit of it's a mixture of casks, bourbon and sherry casks. Mm, it has a bit of a nutty aroma. It's malty and nutty. There's a bit of a bit of vanilla to it, and a little bit of a little bit of dried fruit. <coughs> Can I go as far as saying apricots? Maybe. Okay. Well, Nostravia.
Mm. Mm. Full body flavor. A lot of gentle tones to it. Gentle flavors. There's some raisins in there, which weren't apparent on the nose. It just has enough alcohol to carry the subtle flavors. Let me cleanse my palate one more time. Coat the glass once again. Just a little hint of smoke. Mm. This is exquisite. It is a wonderful, most enjoyable dram. And with the 46.3%, it's just strong enough. And the finish is long, long, and it hangs on, it hangs on. I'm still, I'm getting that little hint of smoke in the finish too. Mm. Very well made, one of my favorites. Yes, sir. Definitely the way to go. Have a good weekend. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>